femme facelift with a pink paint job in Manteca. The president of Cromer Material Handling joins us live to explain themselves. Good morning. Good morning. You look good really, morning. You look perfect on that pink forklift. You look perfect on that pink <laughs> forklift, as a matter of fact. All right, tell us why uh, you have pink forklifts to be offered to the public. It's interesting. Uh, one of our vendors, we have a train going by, uh, Clark Forklift, came out with a promotion a few years back on uh, pink pallet jacks. And this past year, they came out with a promotion with their dealers and suppliers uh, to purchase pink forklifts. And part of that money went to the Susan, uh, Susan G. Komen Foundation, which, as everybody knows, pink has become prevalent the last couple of years. I even have a pink shirt nice. uh, in, our, in our life. And so, interesting, uh, they donated last year. We've raised now, through the foundation with Clark, $225,000. And as a result of, uh, of us purchasing these for, our, uh, for sale and rental, we, uh, this is our 25th year at Cromer Material Handling, and we're going to donate 20% of all the income on these lifts uh, to the charity of a customer's choice. So it's kind of exciting. Yeah. And you know, the NFL wears, <laughs> the NFL wears pink. I guess the White House was painted pink. I remember that in October. So uh, it's a, it's a, they're a beautiful paint job and I don't know who did it, but somebody <laughs> needs to be commended. And It does look good. <laughs> uh, I kind of asked a few of my friends if they wanted to rent them. They go, no, we don't really want pink, but with us guys now, uh, pink has kind of become manly, sure. uh, whereas back in the old days, I guess it really hasn't. So we're really enjoying, uh, we just got these in and we're really going to enjoy the, uh, hopefully the aftermath of uh, celebrating our 25th year and uh, raising some more money for the Susan right. uh, Komen Foundation. Perfect. Nothing says manly like so a pink forklift. So you're selling them for $23,900, yeah. $23, so, <laughs> I'm reading, and 500 you know, of that it, will go to Komen every, for everyone you sell. How many of these would you say you yeah. sell, you know, in a month? We don't know yet because we're just now getting them in the last 30 days yet. So we just started our, on our website blogging it okay. and a newsletter. Uh, and if we have to get more, we will. But uh, people that even rent them, which is a big part of our, our industry or our business, uh, we're going to donate 20% of that income. I am personally... Uh, to the Coleman Foundation or the customer's charity of choice. Is there so, is there a time of, a little bit, I guess? Yeah. Is there a time of year when there's like a run on forklifts? Like, do people rent them out in the spring or in the winter? When is it the busy time of the yeah. year for you? In the uh, in the valley, uh, the whole Central Valley. We're also in Oakland, California. Whole Central Valley is really June through or July through November, oh, okay. where every forklift is rented in in Northern California. That's thousands of them. Oh, all right. So, uh, uh, with the, with the harvest season, forklifts are a big thing. People don't know it, but there's thousands that are rented uh, for the walnuts and the almonds and the grapes and the cherries, and it's a quite it's quite the uh, uh, demand. Right. And hopefully, uh, we'll give a little exposure uh, to uh, uh, raising charity as sure. everybody in our life now is. Somebody's been affected, including my life of uh, breast cancer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Marshall, thank you thank for you. joining us. Marshall Cromer is the president of Cromer Material Handling in Manteca. If you want to check it out and get in touch with them, we've got their information linked to our website under show info at the top of the page there. He made it look nice. good and manly at the same time. You can always do that. Very yeah. Nice. All right, coming up, the uh, first movie poster for the movie Fifty Shades of Grey is unveiled. We'll show it to you. It's coming up at 8 o'clock. Plus, Google snagged the uh, artwork of a little boy to feature on its front page. New and A, why his painting is so special.
Welcome back to Good Day. You can listen to our show in Spanish by tuning your television to the SAP channel. That's the secondary audio program. Every morning we put the show into Spanish for you with help from our talented interpreters and Wells Fargo Bank. 754, let's go check in with Court. Good look at your roadways. Hey, Court. Hey, good morning, guys. We've got a major crash happening on Bradshaw right around Keyford. It sounds like about seven or eight cars are involved in the accident, uh, and there may possibly be uh, a head-on involved in this accident itself. They're calling on about five tow trucks to try to clear this up, and as you can imagine, it's going to be a very busy commute for you this morning. Take a look outside with the dash cam. Dave Grassoff making his, making his way down Bradshaw right now. He just got off the freeway, so he'll be at Kiefer in the next few minutes, and we'll get you some live pictures as soon as he gets there, but uh, definitely expect some slowdowns out in that area. Again, Bradshaw around Kiefer is where all this is happening, guys. Back over to you. All right, all right, all right. Thank you so much, Courtney. Well, this may be bad news for your monthly credit card payment, but retail therapy may actually work. A new study says if you're feeling the blues or a little stressed out, shopping can help you feel better. Hitting the stores can also help you feel more in control of your environment. People who took part in the study who bought something were also three times happier than those who only window shopped. Mm hmm. <laughs> and now we know. Hey, Men's Fitness Magazine named the best workout for the year. Coming up new at 8, the total body workout that trains muscles you didn't even know you had. Also, forget about the football. The best part of the Super Bowl is the ads. <laughs> new at 8, we'll tell you what's in store for you this year.